Okay, in this lesson we're going to talk about how we do different journal entries uh, to handle um, adjusting bad debt entries and credit collections. So if you are using the Spiceland Intermediate book, it is on page 386, problem 74, but you don't need it because we have it right here. So Rain Tray Cosmetic Company sells its products to their customers on a credit basis, uh, adjusting entry for bad debts recorded only at December 31st, the year end. Their balance sheet shows uh, current assets with receivables, uh, net of allowance for unclockable accounts of 30000 so it's 432000 is what we're recording on our last balance sheet so at the end of December 2010. During 2011, credit sales were $1,750,000, Cash collections from customers were $1,830,000 and $35,000 in accounts receivable written off. $3,000 was collected from a customer who was written off previously in 2010. And our aging shows that we have the following. We In our age group of 0 to 60 days, we have, that makes up 65% of our accounts receivable. And we're projecting that 4% of that will be uncollectible again. Uh, uncollectible on accounts receivables generally based on the company's history. Okay, it's from 61 to 90 days, that's 20% of their receivable, and 15% of that is estimated to be uncollectible. Uh, 91 to 120 days, 10% of our receivable is in that category, with 25% uncollectible, and then we have 5% of our total receivables over 120 days old, and 40% of that is estimated to be uncollectible. So what we want to do first is let's look at preparing our uh, journal entries for the write-offs of 2011 and the collection of that receivable that had previously been written off. So using the allowance method which you're required to do use under GAAP and any if you have a significant amount of credit sales which in this case it is so to write off that 35000 that we had, we're going to reduce our allowance by 35000 Allowance is a contra asset account, so normally that's going to have a credit balance. So to reduce it, we're going to debit it. Our account's receivable, since we're doing that, a write-off write-off is going to be, we're taking that right off the account's receivable, so 35000 is reduced. Well, that's all we have to do there. To record our collection of that $3,000 that was previously written off, it's a two-step process that we're going to do. First of all, we're going to reestablish the receivable. So we're going to set the receivable up. So we're going to debit our accounts receivable for $3,000 and credit our allowance. Because as you saw in the first entry, when we write off an account, we write it off to the allowance account. Okay. Next, we are going to collect it so we're going to have cash for 3000 and accounts receivable we're going to credit for 3000 so we're take putting it back on accounts receivable and then we're collecting it and we're reestablishing that allowance that we had used prior and again when we use uh, the allowance method we do not write accounts off directly to bad debt okay to bad debt expense we are going to be doing that here in the next example which is Example number two, so prepare our year-end adjusting entry for bad debts according to each situation. So in A, our bad debt expense is going to be estimated to be 3% of credit sales for the year. So there's a couple different methods we can use. So this method we're using is called the uh, percent of credit sales. So our entry is going to be to debit bad debt expense. So what are we going to debit it for? Well, it's going to be... 3% of our credit sales, so it's going to be times our million $750,000 or $52,500. And we will set up our allowance account for $52,500. So that's what we're anticipating that we will lose based on credit sales of a million seven hundred fifty thousand our, our experience tells us that approximately three percent of all of our credit sales will go bad okay so under this uh, our next method is we're going to bad debt expenses estimated by computing our net realizable value of our receivables 
Uh, the allowance for all uncollectible accounts is estimated to be 10% in this case of the year-end balance in its accounts receivable. Again, this is by company, so there's no magic to the 10% numbers based on their history. So we have to do an accounts receivable analysis to figure that out. So first of all, we need to calculate what our accounts receivable balance actually is. Well, we had a beginning balance of $462,000. Okay, our credit sales were million seven hundred fifty thousand. We wrote off thirty-five thousand, and our cash collections were a million eight hundred and thirty thousand. That's going to give us an ending balance. I'm just going to use the auto sum of 347000 So my allowance is going to be 347000 times our 10% estimated allowance. So the amount that we're going to need to have in our allowance account is 34700 well, that does not equal our bad debt expense, remember? Okay, because first we need to look at what our bad debt expense allowance account actually is. So our allowance, we started out the year with an allowance beginning balance of $30,000. Okay, we had to, we added back the $3,000 that we collected from one that we had written off before. During the year, we actually wrote off $35,000. So my balance before my adjustment is a negative two thousand so we have an actual have a debit balance in that account okay so our required which we just calculated was thirty four seven hundred okay so what we're going to need then is going to be our thirty four thousand and just to make it the signs work out is we're going to subtract out our 2000 negative so we need a balance of 36700 so that's what our bad debt expense is going to be to get our allowance account to the desired balance of 34000 34700 so then our entry is really easy we debit our bad debt expense for 347 and we're going to credit our allowance for 347 and again, so that's that's where the only time where we're going to make our bad debt expense. We're not writing off under the allowance method. We don't write accounts directly to bad debt expense. We do it to the allowance using our, and then we make our estimate um, based on our prior history, which we have just done here. Okay, so then our final um, example here is we're going to use estimate our bad debt expense by computing our net realizable value. Uh, the receivables and this allowance uh, for uncollectible accounts is determined by our aging of our accounts receivable. Okay, so remember at the beginning of the problem, we had our categories 0 to 60, 61 to 90, 90 to 120, and over 120. So our amount of we calculated in our previous example of our receivable balance of 347000 So that's what we're going to use as our total. That's our total accounts receivable. So we need to break those out into our aging categories. We have 65% of it is in the 0 to 60 days. So we're going to take my total receivable balance of 347500 times 65%. And it gives me 225550 And our 61 to 90 days is going to be our 347000 times our 0.20, so 20% was in that category. 10% of it was in the in the uh, 91 to 120 days. And then finally, over 120 days, we had 10%, so or 5%, excuse me. So we're going to have our 347,000 times 0 0.05 and that gives us our breakout of how we came up with our 347 our percent uncollectible we had um, four percent here I'm going to format this column to be percent 
So we go back here. We're going to get point zero four. So four percent. Our bad debt expense is going to be point. It's going to be fifteen percent in that category in the sixty one to ninety. In the ninety one to twenty, we're estimating that twenty five percent is going to be uncollectible and in the last category we're expecting 40 percent to be uncollectible okay so then all we need to do is take our formula of the amount that we have in that balance times our percent four percent in this case so nine thousand and twenty two is what we need for an allowance in that category and we're going to drag that formula all the way down and so we're going to have our balance of in, uh, we need an allowance of sixty of ten thousand four hundred ten in the sixty one to ninety day category, eight thousand six seventy five in the ninety one to hundred twenty, and six thousand nine hundred and forty in there. So our total that we need our allowance to be is thirty five thousand forty seven. Okay, next we're going to do our same analysis of our allowance account that we had done in the previous example. So we're going to have we started out with a balance of thirty thousand. Okay, we add back the 3,000 that we recollected. We wrote off 35,000. So we have 2,000 debit balance. Our required allowance that we just calculated was 35,047. Our, what the entry we need to make is we're gonna start, we need that balance of 35,000. We subtract out what we already have, which in this case is a negative amount to debit. So our total amount is 37,047 that we're gonna to need to make an entry on bad debt expense. And of course our bad debt expense is going to be to debit. Bad debt expense for 37,047. And we will do a credit in our allowance account of 37,047. And that will get our allowance balance to where it needs to be. Okay, and again, we have a an uncollectible amount of, we're estimating our receivables to be 37047 out of that $347,000 receivable. That's what we're elect, estimating to be uncollectible, and that's how we do that. Thank you for your attention.